Hello kids, my name is Kritika. I am your computer digital mentor. Today we are going to learn a very interesting chapter of computer that is chapter 2 parts of a computer. So students, before we start our chapter, first we have some lesson objectives. About monitor, the keyboard, about mouse, about other parts of a computer, classification of monitor, the CPU, types of mouse. So students, now we have some warm-up questions. Our first question is state true or false. First, a computer is a very useful machine. So students, a computer is a very useful machine. So we write T in the box. A man can work for long hours without rest. So students, this is a false statement. A human need break to do longer work. So we write F in the box. Computer is used in school to keep records of books. So students, this is a right statement. So we write T in the box. Laptop is also known as PC. So students, this is a wrong statement. So we write F in the box. Tablet computer is light in weight. So yes, this is a right statement. So we write T in the box. So students, let's start our chapter. Computer has also many parts like human body. The major part of computer are monitor, CPU, keyboard and mouse. So students, let's learn about the major parts of a computer. First we have monitor. A monitor looks like a TV screen. It displays software copy of everything. It is also called VDU, that is Visual Display Unit. So now we have classifications of monitor. First, CRT, Cathode Ray Tube Monitor. CRT monitor are bigger in size and consume more electricity. Second, LCD, Liquid Crystal Display Monitor. LCD is a flat type of computer screen that uses less electricity than CRT cathode ray tube. You can see a picture of CRT monitor. Third, LED, light emitting diode monitor. LED is the latest type of monitor. They are more flat than LCD and consume least electricity. So students, here you can see a picture of LED monitor. Now we have keyboard. A keyboard is an input device which is used to enter the information. Buttons on keyboard are called keys. It is used to type letters, words, numbers and special symbols. A standard keyboard has 104 keys. Students, now we have CPU, Central Processing Unit. CPU is stand for Central Processing Unit. It is a brain of the computer. It controls all the activities of a computer. It has a large memory which helps it to store data. So students, let's know the fact. The first computer mouse was invented by Douglas Engelbert. So now we have mouse. A computer mouse has two or three buttons on it. It has one ball on the bottom to rotate the pointer. It is used to point, move and select items on the desktop. It helps us to perform many tasks like drawing, copying, etc. So students, let's learn about types of mouse. A mouse can be of different types. First we have scroll mouse. A scroll mouse has a scroll wheel in the middle of the left and right button. We can move a page up and down by using the scroll wheel. A scroll wheel mouse is of two types, ball mouse and optical mouse. A ball mouse has a ball under it. This ball helps us to move the mouse pointing on the screen. An optical mouse uses light instead of ball for movement of the mouse pointer. So students, now we have other parts of a computer. Apart from these four main parts, there are also many important parts of a computer 
which can be attached with it for different purposes. So students, first is printer. A printer is used to print the text or pictures on a paper. The printed copy of the paper is called the hard copy. There are three types of printer that are commonly used. They are dot matrix printer, laser printer, inkjet printer. So students, here you can see the pictures of these printers. So students, now learn about microphone. A microphone is used to give audio input to the computer. Students, now we have speakers and headphones. Speakers and headphones are used to give audio output. Speakers allow us to listen to music. It can be connected to the CPU with a cable. Headphones are also used to listen to music without making noise pollution. So students, here you can see a picture of a speaker and a headphone. So students, now we have CD-ROM. A CD-ROM stands for Compact Disc Read-Only Memory. A CD is round in shape and can store data. It is used to listen to music, watch movies and etc. Computer have a CD-ROM drive that plays a CD when we want to play a CD. We place it in the tray that pops out when we press the button on the tray. CD is mostly used in offices to keep their records safe. Students, here you can see a picture of a CD. So students, now we have class activity. Look at the pictures and tick the correct words. So students, here is a picture given to you. You have to identify whether it is a monitor or a CP. You have to take the correct option. Next, you can see a picture. You have to identify whether it is a keyboard or a mouse. So students, now we have UPS. UPS stands for Uninterruptible Power Supply. A UPS keeps the computer working for some time even after the electricity goes off. When we work on a computer, the data is not stored permanently. Hence, if the power is switched off, then our data may be erased from the temporary memory. UPS help us to save our work. Next, we have a pen drive. A pen drive is a secondary storage device which stores data permanently. A USB port is needed to insert it into a computer, it can be easily carried. So students, what we have learned in this chapter, let's have a quick look on our key points. A computer has a major parts, monitor, CPU, keyboard and mouse. CPU stand for central processing unit. Keyboard buttons are called keys. Speaker help us to listen to music and hear sound effects. A UPS keeps the computer working for some time even after the electricity goes off. A pen drive is a secondary storage device which stores data permanently.